All right, on page 808 today, we are going to be finding the area of regular polygons. All right, and just to review, a regular polygon has congruent sides. and interior angles <clears throat> All right so you know if it's a regular triangle what a regular triangle means is that all the sides are the same they're the same length and all of these inside angles would be the same. Same holds true for any regular polygon. Congruent sides and interior angles. So all the sides are the same length, all the interior angles have the same measure. So down on the bottom of page 808, there's a key concept. It says the, the area of a regular polygon is equal to we're going to use this one half times lowercase a which is a potham times uppercase p which represents the perimeter the area of a regular polygon is equal to one half times the apothem times the perimeter where A is the apothem and P is the perimeter. And then we're going to say that the apothem of a polygon is a segment that connects the center to the middle of a side. The apothem of a polygon is a segment that connects the center to the middle of a side. So if we go back to this 
Eh, let's not use that triangle. In the case of a, let's say we got a hexagon. So six sides. We got a hexagon. <clears throat> if we put a point right here, Call it P. P is the center. If we take a segment and go from the center to the middle of this side, let's call this side AB. And then we're going to create a point right here, C. All right, PC is the apothem. All right, it connects the center to the middle of a side. Now, when it connects the center to the middle of a side, it's perpendicular to that side. And since it connects the center to the middle of a side, it splits this side into two congruent pieces. All right, so PC is perpendicular to AB, and AC is congruent to CB. Now, we're going to take all this information and we're going to use it to find the area today of a hexagon and then a pentagon and then a triangle. Okay? So, on the top of page 809 right now, we're asked to find the area of each regular polygon round to the nearest tenth. So, we're going to find the area. So we're going to take this hexagon again. And now the only information that you're given is this side right here. And here's how this works. If area equals one half or 0.5 times apothem times perimeter. Right now, if one of these sides is three and there's six sides, then the perimeter is equal to three times six, which is 18. So we know our P. The apothem is going to take a little bit more work. So to find the apothem for this polygon, we're going to put a center in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this center and we're going to connect it to two vertices. And when we do, we're going to form a triangle. Now, we're going to find the central angle of this triangle that we just formed, all right? And this central angle in here, the central angle is equal to the number of sides, or I'm sorry, is equal to 360 divided by the number of sides. And in this case, 360 divided by 6 is 60. So now, in this triangle, this is a 60-degree angle. Now I'm going to dash in this apothem. And I'm going to move over here 
and I'm going to draw this little triangle on the right. All right, this central angle, I'm going to take this right triangle on the right-hand side, and I'm going to redraw it right here. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see everything. Now, when we do this, since this central angle was 60 degrees, the apothem always splits the central angle in half. So this angle is 30. The apothem also splits this side in half. So if the whole side is 3, then this side, all right, this portion of this triangle is 1.5. And now we've got a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and we know the short leg. And we also know that the short leg times the square root of 3 equals the long leg of a 30, 60, 90. So now, this piece is the same as this piece. So it represents our apothem. So now we can go back to this area formula. And the area of this hexagon is equal to 0.5 times the apothem, which is 1.5 times the square root of 3 times the perimeter, which is 18. And then just multiply that straight across in your calculator because this 1.5 radical 3, it's just like there's a times sign in there. So just push times in between. I've got my calculator set to second fix 1. So 0.5 times 1.5 times 3 square root times 18 equals. And I get 23.4. And these dimensions were all in meters, so this is in square meters. All right, so that was an example of finding the area of a regular hexagon when we are only given one side length. Any questions on any of those steps? All right, second example. Look at example B there, regular pentagon. All right, so now we've got a pentagon. It's got five sides. And what we're given in this pentagon is the distance from the center to one of the vertices, and it's 10. That's all we're given. So this problem is going to be a little bit more difficult, but we're going to follow most of the same process. So we need the apothem, and we need this side length. Because with the apothem and this side length, we can find the perimeter and we can find the area. So, we're going to we're going to turn what we've got here into a central angle. The measure of this central angle, the central angle is going to be equal to 360. Now we're going to divide it by 5 because this shape has five sides. So, 360 divided by 5 72 degrees. That means this angle in here is 72 degrees. Our apothem would be this piece from the center to the middle of the side. And then I'm going to redraw this smaller triangle with the 72 and the hypotenuse that's 10. 
So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So here's what we got. We got this triangle, this right triangle that we're working with. Now, be careful here. This central angle is 72, but the apothem splits that angle in half. So don't forget to half it when we redraw. So this is 36 degrees. Our hypotenuse, which is the radius of this pentagon, is 10. All right. This side would represent the apothem. And this side down here on the bottom represents half the side length of this polygon. So right now I'm just going to call this X. All right. So we got to draw back on some trigonomic trigonometry ratios. And I know everybody remembers Sokotoa. So we're going to find this X first, and then we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find A. All right. So look, in, re in relation to the angle given, this 36 degree angle, we're looking for the opposite side, and we have the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So I'm going to do sine 36 equals the opposite side, x, over the hypotenuse, which is 10. We're going to multiply both sides by 10. The 10s over here cancel. And 10 times 36 sine equals 5.9. So 5.9 is equal to our x, which is this piece right here. It's half the length of one of the sides. So while that's sitting on your calculator, and I know we're rounded to second fix one, so we're just going to leave it that way. And we're going to take 5.9, just push times two. We get 11.8. So this side of this pentagon is 11.8. If we know the side of the pentagon is 11.8, then our perimeter is equal to, there's five sides times 11.8. And again, that 11.8 is sitting on my calculator screen, so I push times 5 equals, and I get 58.8. And now all I need is this apothem to find the area of this pentagon. So if our x down here is equal to 5.9, and I do the Pythagorean theorem on this right triangle, my a squared plus 5.9 squared equals 10 squared. I can subtract 5.9 squared from each side. And A squared equals, in the calculator, 10 X squared minus 5.9 X squared equals 65.2, and if we find the square root of each of those sides, our apothem is equal to 8.1. So here's our A is 8.1. So if we use our formula now for area, area of an apothem equals 0.5, or I'm sorry, area of the polygon equals 0.5 times the apothem, which is 8.1, times the perimeter, which is 58.8. So the, let's see, 0.5 times 8.1 times 58.8 
equals 238.1. And we were in inches there, so this is square inches. All right, so those are your steps for a one, two, three, four, five, a pentagon. Find the central angle, 360 divided by number of sides. Take your central angle, divide it by two. Pull out this smaller triangle. Use trig ratios to find this half of the side length. And then use Pythagorean theorem to find the apothem. With all that, we can find the area. Okay? Any questions there? All right, then the last shape we're going to find the area of is a triangle. And that's down on the bottom of page 809, Guided Practice 3A. So we've got this regular triangle. And all we're given is this side length. <clears throat> all right, we're going to follow the same process. Insert the center. Turn one of these sides into a triangle. All right, our central angle is equal to 360 divided by the number of sides, which in this case is three. Our central angle is 120. So this angle in here is 120. I'm gonna Add my apothem. And look at what we know. If one of the sides is four, and this is a regular triangle, then all the sides are four. If all the sides are four, then this piece of this smaller triangle is equal to two. So now I'm going to redraw this smaller triangle. This leg of the smaller triangle is the 2. The central angle divided by 2 gives us 60 degrees right here. So now we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and the side across from the 60 is the long leg. Well, our apothem is right here. And our apothem is the short leg of the 30, 60, 90. And the short leg of a 30, 60, 90 is equal to the long leg divided by the square root of 3. So our apothem equals. 2 divided by radical 3. Which is 1.2. All right, so our apothem is 1.2. Our perimeter is equal to one of the sides times the number of sides. So that's just 4 times 3 which is 12, and our area equals 0.5 times the apothem, which is 1.2, times the perimeter, which is 12. So 0.5 times 1.2 times 12, 7.2, and our dimension was in feet, so we are in square feet. All right, so any questions on finding the area of those three shapes? Hexagon, pentagon, triangle.
All right, then your practice for today is going to be on page 812, problems 10, 11, and 12. All right, just three problems. You're going to find the area of a triangle, of a pentagon, and of a hexagon on your own.